Hey guys! Welcome to the third episode of the Free Game Review series. Today I'm reviewing Whispering Willows, which is free on Twitch Prime until June 3rd. It was created by indie developer Nightlight Interactive and released in 2014. So, I'm not particularly looking forward to playing this game because it is categorized as a horror video game, and I'm a bit of a scaredy cat. In addition to that, the game only received a 64 by Metacritic, so I'm not expecting too much. But without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with the overview. Whispering Willows is a story-based adventure game about a girl named Elena, and no, you can't actually change her name. Wait, I can't even change the name? And basically, she's looking for her father at an old mansion of which he was the groundskeeper. In the first chapter, you meet Flying Hawk, a spirit who leads you through the chapter to find his physical body. Alana realizes that she too can go into a spirit state, but Flying Hawk warns her not to lose her body like he had. I haven't played through the whole story yet, but I believe there are four chapters in the game. So with this in mind, let's get to the review. In terms of looks, I understand it's not supposed to be cute and bubbly like how I'd prefer, so I think they did a pretty good job in choosing the art to look eerie and unsettling. The scenery certainly made me not want to walk around in the game. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I don't want to move. I did, however, really like how Elena looked in her spirit state, and I thought the amount of detail in the artwork was done well. So for the look of the game, I decided to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Next is sound. The music gave a pretty eerie vibe, but it didn't stand out much to me. I'm not sure if that was the intent or if it could have been better. Combined with the ambiance, it did help to set the mood, and the sound effects were pretty realistic as I was playing, so those are some pluses. There were also some pretty weird noises I encountered in the game, and I'm not sure how it made me feel. Okay, there's a lot of creepy sounds going on here. So for that, I've decided to give the game a 7 out of 10 for sound. Now let's talk about the feel. The first thing I noticed was that you couldn't use the mouse to move or interact with anything in the game, and pretty much all the controls were keybinded. You could move using WASD or the arrow keys, and then Q swapped Elena from physical state to spirit state and back, and to interact with most things, you press space. These are the main controls used in the game, so once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple to use. I didn't feel like there were any issues in how it felt to use the controls. However, the game has quite detailed artwork, but you can only interact with limited objects in each room or area, and some of the commentary seemed unnecessary or irrelevant. But why? Well, you're in a catacombs. Because of this, it seemed a bit slow at times, especially since you can't run in the game and have to walk through the same room several times in some cases, or if you go the wrong way. Therefore, I gave the game a 6 out of 10 for feel. In terms of noob friendliness, when the gameplay starts, it literally tells you nothing. So from the beginning, I really had no idea what to do, so I just had to experiment with ways that I know how games usually work. Am I supposed to do something? First I tried left clicking with my mouse. Nothing happened, so I moved to arrow keys. I was able to move at that point, but decided to try WASD as moving with these keys felt more natural. Those worked too, so I stuck with it. Even after learning how to move, nothing popped up to help me with the next step, until I tried walking a bit further and it said to turn back and pick up the amulet. I turned back towards the amulet, and finally, as Elena stood over it, the game taught me how to use the space key to interact with it. After this point, I think they were a bit more clear in how to use the few controls in the game. Therefore, as an experienced gamer, I didn't find it difficult to figure out how to use some of the common movement keys, but new gamers may not find it intuitive. One other thing to note is that there is a point in the game, at least in Chapter 1, where you can essentially fail. However, it resets you back to the start of that challenge, so you can retry as many times as you need. This is nice so you don't have to restart from the whole beginning of the story. Therefore, I'll give the game a 5.5 5 out of 10 for noob friendliness. Lastly, we have funness. 
As I mentioned before, the game moved kind of slow, considering the few things you can interact with and the slow movement of the character. Also, for a horror game, I found it really wasn't that scary at all. Aside from the look of the scenery and the eerie sounds of the music and ambiance, I noticed that anything scary that would happen would pretty much have a warning beforehand. Whether it was a cut to a black screen before something popped up, or a comment by one of the characters, it was pretty obvious when something kind of scary might happen. The story was kind of interesting, and they did it in a way which Elena picked up various notes during her journey. However, I ran into a point where my notes ended up being out of order. I probably just didn't go to the right spot at the right time, but allowing this to happen definitely threw the story off a bit. For all these reasons, I'm going to be giving the game a 3 out of 10 for funness. Now that we've gone through each of the 5 factors, I've multiplied them all by 2 to create a score out of 100. So the final total score is 60, which means I'm likely going to want to uninstall the game. Overall, the game felt kind of slow, and there wasn't much depth in the gameplay. In addition, for a game in the horror category, it really wasn't as scary as I expected. Therefore, I wouldn't really suggest playing the game, but if you're interested in seeing more of my reactions during my first playthrough, stay tuned. <gasps> oh gosh, what am I supposed to do about that? Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions of other free or non-free games for me to review, let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can be notified when I post a new video. In addition, I've added a link to a spreadsheet that I created, which shows all the games I've reviewed so far, including the five factors and the total total score. Anyways, thanks again. Bye!